making Beach Beachbody a priority. You know, it's we all have some really busy lives, um, extremely busy. We all have kids, we all have spouses, animals, our day to day. You know, it's busy. Whether you have beach body or not, it's busy. So Brigitte Linford, and, and I think Robin and I talked about this a little bit last week on her call, or week before, Brigitte Linford had mentioned that somebody, a coach had quit coaching because she had so much chaos in her life and contacted Brigitte shortly after and said, I still have all of that same chaos, but I don't have Beachbody anymore and I miss it. So I really, that, that one really hit home for me. I have a ton of chaos. I mean, my house is not organized at all. I have paths kicked through my house. I have a gaping hole in my bedroom floor that's on the second story that if I decided to get up in the dark and trip and fall, I would probably die. You know, there's chaos. But I always have beach body. I have my beach body family. I have my beach body priorities. I have everything that beach body has taught me about determination and never giving up and prioritizing and making lists and sticking to it. And it's only 20 more seconds. You, know, you can do anything for a minute. You know, everything that Beachbody has ever taught me, I still have that. That is, that is a foundation of me. So Beachbody is a priority of me. And that's filtering out into everything around me, no matter how chaotic it is, it's always going to be there. It's been very frustrating lately because I've, I'm one challenge pack away from Success Club 10 for the month, but I can't squeeze in any more time. So I'm, I'm frustrated with myself on that. And I know that other people are frustrated with Success Club and it happens. But making Beachbody a priority is important to me, which has made it so that I can be in Success Club for the month so that I can have a little bit of stability in my life. Beachbody is my stability. It's pretty amazing. I know that I can log into Facebook and see happy Beachbody coach posts from Carrie or Sierra or Tammy or Sharon or any of my team. I can see progress and I can see the feel good part of Beachbody. And that right there is my constant and I love it and I appreciate it. And it makes me feel like our team is stronger because we have people like that on our team. So that's my big to do. Thank you, everybody. Right now, I'm like totally rambling. So anyway, but yeah. So last night or last week's call was going to be a lot about setting those priorities, and so I failed miserably. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> oh well. But that doesn't mean that I've given up Beach Body altogether. I just oopsed that one time. So I still have my Beach Body. I still have my team calls. I just had an oops. So, um, but before we get too much further, Sierra, I'm totally going to put you on the spot. And I am so sorry. I, I wanted to message you about this, but then I decided not to. I was just going to jump out and be like, hey, you. <laughs> and you have your hands full. So I don't know if everybody saw Sierra's post earlier today about the book that she's reading about personal development, I believe it's The Big Leap is what she's reading. Um, and her post talked about setting your own limitations. Um, for Like when you're moving forward with progress, you stop yourself and you set up your own barriers because of that fear of success. And that's what The Big Leap is supposed to help push you past a little bit the, the section that, that she's in with the book right now it's very incredible if you haven't had a chance to pick up that book please do it is a great book so i was hoping when sierra has her hands free maybe she can uh, unmute herself and give us a little bit of feedback of her take on this book so far um it's the big leap by uh gosh i uh, gay guy. Um, I can't even remember the name now. It's a great book, though. No. I think it's Gary, isn't it? Gary, Gary, maybe Gary. I think it's Gary. I have it on my phone. I'd have to look. I really don't get the chance to read anymore unless I listen. <laughs> so
So, um, and my phone disappeared. That's wonderful. Oh, there it is. So, um, truthfully, when I first kind of like Robin, when I first started listening to this book, I was really skeptical. I was like, this guy's weird. <laughs> um, oh, Gay Hendrix. Gay Hendrix? Gay Hendrix. Yep. The big leap. Gay Hendrix. Yes. And so I was really skeptical. I was like, this guy's just weird. <laughs> you know, he's into a lot of, it sounds like, oh, careful, baby. Yeah. It sounds like he's into a lot of, like, you know, how do I put this without, like, being disrespectful? Because it's, it's, you know, people do it a lot, but they're more into, you know, like, self-worth and connecting with the universe. And, you know, it works for people. It does. That's up to them. It's not for me, of course. I trust in God more with that kind of stuff. <laughs> but the more I started listening to it, the more sense it actually does make. Because it's, yes, you're connecting more with the universe, but in a way where you're just becoming more attuned to yourself and to what what you need. So a lot of the things, like one of the issues he was talking about today was a couple was fighting. And the thing was, she was mad at her husband because she thought he liked the other girls and, you know, in a way that like he could possibly cheat. And she was worried about that. And he was trying to figure out why she thought that. Her thing was that she had connected with a guy, I guess, in a part on a party where they just sat and talked and enjoyed it. And her thought was kind of of how much she connected with him, that she missed that with her husband. But, you know, in her mind, that kind of sent to, well, the way he's talking with those girls, he's cheating kind of the way, you know, when I was talking to that guy, I felt like I really connected on many levels. So you just got to kind of look at what's upsetting you what's what's you know driving you to be irritated because not always why you're yelling at someone is the reason you're mad <laughs> there's lots of um lots of other little things in there that are working into that that it's worked up to hey baby go get daddy but that's kind of what i'm getting out of it sorry i have a little get down <laughs> sorry little you more. have life and children and chaos and yes. I do <laughs> kind of like you Christy but not quite as bad <laughs> everybody has it it's not just me everybody has their own level of it and how people deal with it is um different across the board I am wild and crazy about it and just kind of embrace my crazy you know <laughs> there you go. you're getting your upper limit <laughs> embrace everybody else's crazy yeah. Right. <laughs> Your post today, though, it really, I was just like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> and it talked about basically setting yourself up for failure when you're on this road to success and everything's going so good and you're so afraid of that success that you sabotage yourself. I do that all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well and that's his biggest thing it, he calls it the upper limit problem and he like he uses that word a lot so I suggest if you have not read that book it would be the next one on my list it's definitely a good one it um <laughs> yeah I couldn't remember what it was called yeah upper limit problem and it, so many of us have it and it's crazy because you can see through <laughs> By watching coaches when they're posting on Facebook or as they're growing in their business, you can see it happening. You can almost see it coming. Like, mine's as blatant as day. You can always see mine coming. I get going and I'm like, rah, rah, rah. And I'm like, oh God, people are looking at me. <laughs> it's so bad. I am the worst at it. So the big leap is really one that's, um, that's really nailing me right in the soul <laughs> man, right. it's getting me good <laughs> i do it when i can but man it's it's definitely one that's hitting me i need to just get over my own fear of success i mean i have goals and i need to be able to hit those goals and i just i gotta stop self-sabotaging it i really do yeah um, oh. and speaking of goals 
like totally off topic. Way to go, Carrie. You are going to get your first promotion. I'm so excited. Carrie's an emerald. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yay. Congrats. Oh, new emerald. And you're going to get your driver's license. And you got a new car. <laughs> just... Don't self-sabotage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Take the big leap, darling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if, if anybody missed that, Carrie is going to advance her rank to Emerald. That is so exciting. That's really one of the very first steps in really growing your business. It's so exciting. Oh, it's just, it's an exciting, exciting thing to have happen. <laughs> I love seeing them turn green. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Oh, gosh, darn it. Yeah, Sharon doesn't have video right now. Oh, hers isn't set up yet. So we could all be like making faces at her and she just wouldn't know it. <laughs> so I am honoring enough to do that. So um, one thing that has happened today a couple of times um, is I've been messaged by actually three different coaches over the last two days um, saying, hey, you know, we're coming up to the end of the month. I want to hit success club what do you suggest? I'm like, invite, invite, invite. So one of the things with invites that I wanted to just throw out there really quick, I invite as often as I can. Right now, I'm, I'm really slacking on my invites because I'm just, I, I can't be in every place at once. But one of the things with the invites, you kind of got to be specific. You got to put some urgency into it, especially at the end of the month. You have to put a time frame on your invite. Hey, I have a group starting in six days. Do you want in on it? I mean, be very specific and very set that urgency tone with your invite. And that tends to get people to be like, oh, oh, I have to do this now. You know, if, if you have limited space, so you only have three spots available, it puts a sense of urgency in that invite. So then people aren't like, oh, I'll order when I get around to it. And then you hear crickets for three months. So um, at the end of the month, that's usually the best time to do an urgency one. You know, hey, I've only got three days left before I close this group. Or, hey, I only have three spots left and I have two people interested. Do you want this last spot? You know, something like that with your invites will definitely help put some sense of urgency, some sense of um, I have to commit to this now for the person that you're trying to invite. So, but make sure you have something to invite too. So if you don't have a group set up for next month, uh, let us know. I'm sure we can uh, hook you up with somebody that has a group going. I know I don't right now. Uh, it'll probably be mid month before I will have a chance to host a group. Um, but don't forget you also have the challenge tracker. It's a, it's a great app for hosting groups. Um, so that's, that's pretty much what I had to say about invites. Sharon, do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, I do. Um, since I don't know how many of you, I think most of you on this call saw my video that I posted earlier and I was kind of whispering because I was at a store and I was like, oh my gosh, this lady literally walked over to look at me because I think she thought I was talking to her. <laughs> and then she just was like, oh, and walked off. It was funny. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Um, yeah, so I decided, um, because I saw the challenge that Brigitte is doing with all of her people, she's doing a hundred invites before the end of the month, but she posted like four days ago. And so people had time, but I was like, you know what? I am going to give you guys till the fifth to do a hundred invites and everybody that gets a hundred invites out that you tracked. I need to see at least first names of who you invited. You can't just say you invited a hundred, um, is going to go on a drawing for a $25 gift card to the store of your choice. So get your invites out. You can invite to, um, I'm acting like you guys can see me and you totally can't. <laughs> anyway, get your invites out for a free group, for a four week support group to, um, be, to learn more about coaching. Um, even just to say, you know, something about what you do, what you offer, would they like to know more? I will count that as, a, as an invite um, if you don't have a group, you know, ready to go yet. But um, 
Anyway, get those invites out. And then the other thing that I am challenging you guys to is to do your personal development every day for 15 minutes because I've been totally slacking on mine. And I think it's just because of my back was killing me. And so guess what? I don't want to be uplifted and motivated when I'm laying on the couch and I can't move. That makes me mad. <laughs> so I'm like, well, maybe if I just avoid my, my uplifting motivation, then I can just wallow in my sadness. Anyway, so I only listened three days last week and that was not good for me because then I got more sad and more not feeling good about myself. So I said enough is enough and I figured maybe if our team does that with me, it will help. So I would love to see you guys check in on our team page and let us know if you did. And you don't have to check in every day. You can say at the end of the week, hey, I read every day this week or I read four days this week or whatever. Um, I hope Christy comes back because she's frozen. Is she frozen to everybody else? I'm here. No, just do, like your video. Oh, look, you're unfrozen. As soon as you talked, it unfroze. Anyway, oh, here. Um, no, I can see your videos. You guys just can't see mine because I didn't hook up my camera. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what I feel like will be really good for our team. I feel like we've kind of not been super supportive to each other as a team because Christy and I have been so crazy busy. And I have people from other like other downline coaches they're not robins but like other people in robins downline reaching out to me literally daily and asking me for advice and i'm like i want my people to be doing this i love helping you guys like it is so exciting to me when you're like okay i have this person and this is what they said what would you respond i'm like woo <laughs> like it's fun to me so um and of course when i was laying on the couch all week i was like yeah keep asking me more questions people cuz i'm just laying here <laughs> um so I feel like the checking in together and letting each other know maybe um, once a week a quote that you felt was super inspiring for you that was an aha moment and then just letting us know how many days you read will just be super helpful for us to get back to being more supportive and more engaged as a team on our page and as the Beachbody family that we are. So, we really are a family. Everybody's got their own little place with us and there's no limits at all with what we can do with each other. It's just truly amazing. So today the um, pastor of our church told Terry, um, your wife really likes that Facebook, doesn't she? <laughs> I was like, well, duh, I like that Facebook. It's what I do, you know, it's part of my job. And then it dawned on me. He has no idea what I actually do with Facebook because I've never talked to him about being a beach body coach. I was actually saving that conversation for Thursday night dinner with him. So I was like, Oh, so that may, I had to make a note to myself. It's actually on my phone as an, an alert to make a coach post so that I put it back out there that, I am a beach body coach. This is what I do. This is why I do it. You know, it didn't even dawn on me that, you know, there's new people on my friends list that have no idea what I'm doing, that they don't know that I'm a coach. They just know that I live in Alaska and I'm wild and crazy and have a lot of chaos and no running water and dogs and, <laughs> but they don't know that I know about healthy eating and weight loss and Shakeology and any of that. They didn't know because I have failed at my job. How dare I? So yeah, it was kind of a neat reminder. I mean, it was like one of those, well, what did you tell him, Terry? <laughs> Terry says, well, I told him it was your job. And so I was like, oh, yay, yay, Terry, he covered for me. Yay. But yeah, um, there is no doubt in my mind that Carrie and Sierra and Tammy are all part of Beachbody. There's no doubt at all. I mean, that, that's a given. Um, it's, it's daily that they are posting what they're doing. And I'm like, I am failing. Man, I'm failing. Don't do as I do, please. <laughs> Keep going. I will catch back up, I promise. <laughs> uh, I just, I love you guys for sharing what you're sharing. And just, it's, it's pretty incredible. It really, really is. I mean, you guys are truly reaching out and changing people's lives. It's, it's awesome. It's really awesome. So I think that's all I had. Um, are you guys 
uh, national wake up calls are every Monday, um, nine o'clock mountain time, which is like seven o'clock my time. So I always miss them. I'm just so busy at seven in the morning. Um, Robin's team calls are Thursday nights. Oh yeah. The push to Emerald group. That's going to start next Monday. Um, I will get that all set up and posted this weekend in the team page. So if you Yay! want to do the group. I was going to mention that. that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I figured out how I can post from PostCron on my phone. I got that all worked out. We're good to go. So I will get that going. Um, Carrie, you can participate in it if you want to. You'll already be an Emerald, but you're still more than welcome to get that extra little push in there. And um, you might want to do it with your new coach if she's ready to jump on and Yeah. Oh. Certainly. Um, and then I think that's about all that I had. Um, oh, Terry destroyed my yoga mat today. So thank God I hit success club, so I'll get a new one. <laughs> I know, right? I just looked that up today and I was like, oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was a surprise. He was uh, using it as a mat to kneel on for the plumbing and just, it's got glue and primer oh. and, and it's all over it. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Good thing I'm getting a new one. <laughs> oh, um, Beachbody did send an email out as a reminder to check your address. Um, for the Beachbody Health Vet check that they'll send out. If you're receiving your Shakeology, it's, you've got the right address on file. So um, they just wanted to make sure I that you... I changed mine. Yeah, they wanted to make sure everybody knew to have the right address on there. So make sure any of the challengers that you have participating have the correct address um, so that they can receive their check as well. I think that was the only important thing from Beachbody that I had right now. I think. Oh. oh, there is a speak of Joel and Jericho in five days. Yay! Yep, that's sneak peek in five days. My back better be good enough. I can try it. Ah. I know. I'm so excited. I'm super excited to try that. So cool. I should have enough floor space for it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> So, but I think that's all we had. Okay. Let's see if any I'm questions? Sure. Anybody about any of what we talked about or just any other training questions or anything that you're needing answered? So isn't that a lovely hole in my floor? <laughs> Sherry can't see it, but that's my bedroom floor. <laughs> So it gets fixed in the next couple of days. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, I mean, don't hesitate.